Hello and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2. So today we're coming at you guys with a little bit of a holiday gift guide for the home. So if you have any friends, family that are moving into a new house or just need home stuff in general, um, we figured we'd show you guys some of our favorite things that we have purchased for our new home. Yep. So are, these are things you could ask for your own house as well. Or, you know, I think some of these gifts might be good for like the person you don't know what to buy them for, like a parent or something like that. Yeah. So we just had to quickly turn off the fireplace because I had the little crackling noise going and last video, I'm pretty sure you could hear the crackling. So I turned it off so that I wouldn't be too annoying throughout this entire video. So let's jump right in and get started. And this, wait. What? This will be the first gift guide and we'll have another gift guide coming too so yeah we're going to film another gift guide right after this so make sure you tune into that um tomorrow so first thing first a soap and lotion set for your bathroom kitchen anywhere um that has a sink is amazing we have these this set in our kitchen on top of a little tray what is that a rise riser wood riser um, and this is way, I think that's how you pronounce it way. Um, and I got this set on Amazon, so it was about $60. So I think overall that's a pretty decent price for a lotion and a soap set and it smells delicious. Yes. So and we'll make sure we link everything humanly possible down below. Yeah. If we, if I can't link it in my like to know it, we'll just link it in our description. Yep. Those actually do smell really good. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna talk about this and we got a ton of questions about these in our home tour video. So this is the gallery light that we had above the picture in our living room, as well as the pictures in our entryway. Um, so of course there's a bracket that goes to this, but this is actually just magnetic. So you can take this down just like I did and it's actually rechargeable. So you just plug it into the wall when it dies and you can see it turns on really easy and actually has three different light modes. Um, it also comes with a remote, so you can make it brighter, you can turn it on and off, change the light, and I think the remote has a timer too, so you can set that. But um, gallery light, you guys really liked this in the last video, so we'll make sure we get that link. Yeah, and I- That's from Amazon. Yeah, I think that the gallery light in general just makes like a simple area look more elegant, yeah. glamorous, just all the things. And it's nice because it's not as expensive as most gallery lights that are like hundreds of dollars and it's because it's rechargeable you don't have to plug it in or have a hard wire um, and we really got the idea from when we went to restoration hardware yeah and next we have these just like black stone coasters so we actually we told you in our home tour but we painted our coffee table black so I wanted something that kind of blended in with the coffee table and didn't really stand out and was nice and simple, also not very chunky. You can see the coasters are very thin, but I think it's cool because it looks like a stone. Yeah, so, they're like slate. Yeah. And I think those are cool too, because you could get those for like a guy. Like, And that was stuff. really, those were really cheap. I think those were like $11 maybe. And you get a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a good price. Yep. All right, more lights for me. So this is the GE Sync. This is a smart light bulb, so it looks like a normal light bulb. You can plug it into any socket you want. We have these in our bedroom. Um, both of us have these on our nightstand and these can sync with like Google Home, but you can control them right from your phone. So the cool thing about these two is they change colors. So we- That's why we got it to begin yeah. with because I had to sell this light bulb on him because I was like, I've seen having a red light is supposed to be super relaxing, calm you down before bed. And he was like, no, it's not necessary. We don't need that. And I was like, but we do. So I talked him into it when we were at Target and now we literally have them on the red light before bed every single night. And who's obsessed with it? I do really like them. The cool thing about the red light is it gives you light like so i'll read at night and i can read but it's still not having a light on so the room's mm -hmm. not super bright so like if she wants to go to sleep she can and I it's can still peaceful read. yeah it's like it's not the bright light in your face yeah it's relaxing yep you Be can turn you can turn these up and down you can change the color to like any different color all on your phone yeah and like i said you can use them with google so like we'll always be like hey google turn the lights to red 
I mean, if you wanted the lights to be red and green, you can make them red and green. If you want them to be pink, you can make them pink. It's your choice. Yep. So yeah, we love those. Next, we have this knife set. I feel like a knife set is in general such a good Christmas present for like your parents. We ended up getting my parents a knife set last year or maybe somebody that's you know moving into a new apartment, new home, friends, family, anybody literally could use a nice knife set. And the reason why we picked out this knife set is because you can see through and it's not bulky. Like I wasn't looking for one of those knife sets that come out very far and have like the knives like pointing out at you. I like them to be just like simple in this little glass container type thing. And we, I think we got this set at Target mm -hmm. and Crate and Barrel comparatively yeah. had knife sets like this that were much more expensive. Like and 500 or something. Yeah. And these are really a great quality knife set. Yeah. So we're happy with them. We've had them since we've lived in Nashville. Um, and obviously moving to Florida and we still have them and we just made it through Thanksgiving, cut the turkey just fine. Yep. So, and they, they're, it's the coolest part is they're just unique. You know, it's a little yeah. different than a normal knife set you'd see. And they also, this, so this, you know, of course does have the steak knives, like a normal block might, but they do also sell steak knives, exact same brand for the most part mm -hmm. match. Um, we have those as well. So if someone wants those, they can have the matching steak knives yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So love that. I think that's just like a really good Christmas present idea, especially for somebody that needs a new knife set. Yep. This is something Sam and I use every single day and we love these. So this is a 10 foot fast charger for iPhone. Um, the nice thing about the 10 foot is we leave them right at, on our nightstand, plugged in behind our nightstand and they can reach literally anywhere. You know, you never don't have enough cord. It is the fast charger too, so it charges your phone very quickly. Very fast. Um, but these, having a long charger is just so useful and you know, they're not expensive and I think it's something everyone always needs a new one of. It's either broken or lost or something like that. Yeah. Is that the actual Apple brand? I don't think so. These are from Amazon, but I think they are approved. And I mean, overall, we've had those for a really long time and they've, they've lasted. I feel like a lot of times when you go to like TJ Maxx or That's Walmart true. or whatever and get an off name brand, they don't usually last very long, yeah. but these have lasted us a very long time. Yes. So next, you can't go wrong with a candle. And this is a very unique candle. This looks like literally a loaf of bread <laughs> and it smells delicious. So we specifically got this candle at a antique store in downtown Franklin when we were living in Tennessee. Um, but we do have the brand so that you can go on the website and order them. I think that these are a great gift I mean, I would not mind getting these <laughs> as a gift, like 2,000 of them, I would be fine with it. Um, and they last a really long time too, like they're such a thick candle and they burn down from this, the center. So it's not one of those candles that like drip off the sides. Okay. So we really like that. And we actually got this candle plate from Target. It's a magnolia, hearth mm -hmm. in hand, mm -hmm. um, just a regular, I think. It's like a salad like, plate. Okay, so like a salad plate. Yeah. And it was three ninety nine. Yeah. So I yeah, mean regardless, you you need something underneath this type of candle. Yeah. And we've like probably burned this like twenty hours and it's barely even down at all. Um mm -hmm. and the website, they have like thirty plus different scents. So like yeah. I don't even remember what's this one? Do you remember? I think there's like cinnamon bun, there's remember. like there's all the holiday scents you can imagine. I am gonna take this one out of our kitchen though and put i think we got a gingerbread one because we we knew we were going to be here for christmas and we weren't sure if you could buy them online at the time when we bought these so we bought a bunch of them and one of them i think was gingerbread yeah so we're gonna switch that out it's just so unique and especially if you have a candle lover then they're gonna be loving it they're not your basic bath and body works candles yeah. like don't get me wrong i'll take yeah. bath and body works candles all day every day too but those are just unique they're different yeah, and you can use it as like decor too, instead of just, just yeah. for sun. So. And I'll tell you, everyone always comes over, they're like, what is that? They <laughs> literally think that it's like a piece of food, but it's a candle. Yep. All right, so next up is the Google Hub. So this is the Google Hub Max. We also have the little Google in our room, but this one we keep in our kitchen um, and it's super cool. So you can- Any of them are great. Yeah, the, any of the Google Hubs. So, 
We use these, uh, well, we have it in our kitchen right now, and you can probably find really good deals on them around the holidays, but you can do so many different things with this. So we have Spotify hooked up to it. We play music on it all the time. We can control our lights. We can see our cameras from so it. So you can turn on like your Christmas tree? Yeah, so we have a smart plug that we can say, hey Google, turn off the Christmas tree, and it would turn it off. Thankfully it's unplugged That's right another now. thing, smart plugs. <laughs> That's great. Yep. Great. And great. it all, Oh, see, it's Air Google. Heard us upstairs. Just, <laughs> hey, Google, turn on the Christmas tree. So these are really cool. So we, you can also watch, um, we use YouTube TV. You can watch YouTube TV on these. You can watch YouTube on these. So you can watch tomorrow's haul if you had one of these. Um, and what else can you do? You can watch recipes. Yeah. You can see calendars for your family. I personally like having this in the kitchen because I mean, I my back is to our TV, so like our kitchen's over there, and then the TV's over here. So my back is to the TV, so I can't if I have something on the TV, I can't watch it anyways. So I'll put YouTube on while I'm like cooking or something, cooking dinner, breakfast, lunch, whatever. And I just think that it's super convenient. Yep. And if you're gonna buy someone a speaker, buy one of these. It can do a lot more too. So yeah. I mean, we were playing for Thanksgiving when we had family here. We had music playing on that thing all day while the TV had football on. Yep. <clears throat> All right, be right back. Gotta turn the Christmas tree on. Okay, so Troy just talked to Google from upstairs to tell it to turn the Christmas tree back on because she was obviously listening to our conversation. Because we unplugged our one that we have down here. Yeah. So next up. So next up is for someone who loves wine, I got three recommendations for them. So. Um, the first of them, yeah. Wow. First of them, the Corvin. So I love this thing, and it's so cool if you have someone who loves wine who I got him this last year for Christmas. Yep. Who lives by themselves because you don't always want to drink four glasses or a whole bottle of wine every night. Um, so this essentially what you do with this is this thing has a little needle inside, and it pierces the cork, so you can actually dispense single glasses of wine without having to take the whole cork out. So you can keep a bottle of wine good for a really long time. Um, places that have like crazy expensive bottles of wine, they use these so that they don't have to take the cork out, but they can still do it tasting with it. So I personally don't useful. like taking out the cork either because when I'm drinking white wine and it has a cork in it, I mean, I, I'm a lightweight. I can literally have one glass of wine and be like a little tipsy off of it. So I don't like taking the cork out because then it's very difficult to lay it back down in the fridge. That's so true too. We don't have a wine fridge. Hopefully one day we'll have one. But um, laying it back down in the fridge, if you take the cork out, then it's, it's very difficult to lay it back down. So with that, you can lay it back down in the fridge. Yeah, exactly. Next up is this wine book. So there's a recent uh, docu-series or documentary thing on Netflix we were watching and they talk about this book, but if someone is- I wasn't watching it, Troy was watching it. He's getting into the whole wine kind of <laughs> skewer type of yes. thing. Yes, so this is called the Oxford Companion to Wine and pretty much what it is, is it has the definition of every wine term that ever existed. Um, so you can get a new one of these. I got this actually on thriftbooks.com for like insanely cheap. Um, but if nothing else, it's really good decor piece with the big words wine. Yeah, inside. it's nice and thick. Yep. We have it laying out in our living room. Yep. And then the last thing I don't have to show you guys, but um, wine glasses are always a really great gift for Christmas because they're always breaking. Um, some of the ones we love, we don't have them here, but we have them back in New York, are the ones that have almost like a flat bottom and then like a cylinder shape. So the top almost looks like a soda can kind of. So we're, we'll link those down below, but those are awesome recommendations and you can get them right on Amazon. Yeah, and if you go back to some of our older videos, we have used them in some of our older videos yes. when we've been drinking wine. They were actually, we had those on our wedding registry. Yeah. So they're really great. They're great quality for an affordable price overall because I don't know if you touched that touch base on this but wine glasses can become like very expensive and like he said with them breaking all the time you don't want to pay an arm and leg for them yeah. so we really love those we'll have to show you guys them again once we're back in New York one day but mm -hmm. okay next well actually last yep last but not least um I don't know how we're gonna do this <laughs> see if you roll it over here so we have this roly poly Oli laundry basket. <laughs> Let's see if I can lift it up. It is like pretty heavy. 
There you go. I nice. mean, I can lift it up. All right, here it is. Strong. This is how big it is. All oh, right. Oh, it's stuck to my sweater. Oh, no. Oh, no. All so, right, so that was the view of it. But yeah. Essentially, it's a gigantic laundry hamper. Mm -hmm. And it kind of looks like the ones that are at like a laundromat. Yeah, so he's passionate about this laundry hamper. <laughs> I told him, well, the thing is, is that we did have this the same exact laundry. Why do I keep calling it a laundry hamper? We're just a hamper or, yeah, just a hamper. So we had this hamper back in New York as well. So um, we obviously needed one for here too. Yes. So um, yeah, but it's huge. Like, yeah. I mean, you can fit like five weeks worth of laundry yeah. in there so, if you really wanted to. You know so. when you gotta switch your clothes from the washer to the dryer and they're still clothes in the dryer and you don't know what to do with them? You can throw them in this giant hamper and they can just build up in there until you actually feel like folding them. Yeah, until you're ready to put them away. I mean, <laughs> we have laundry up in our loft right now that has been sitting there for three days. Nice yeah. and clean laundry. We just gotta put it away. Great but, place when, you know, you have someone coming over and you gotta yeah. hide all your laundry quick. Oh, just we throw used them in to there. do that all the time back in New York. <laughs> we literally used to have friends over all the time and we would have been doing laundry all day and we didn't have time to put it away. So we just threw it in the basket, hid it in the closet and nobody had any idea. <laughs> so yeah, all I right. mean, overall, I feel like these are some really good home pieces. Yeah. Um, Hopefully you guys got some good ideas for yeah. yourself or your friends or family. Yeah, I mean, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys watch tomorrow's video. We got another holiday gift guide coming at you for him and her. And it's also gonna be kind of a wish list. Yes. Some of the things that we are asking for, especially this Christmas. So, so yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.